Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's been a while. Um so much has happened. But school is starting and so therefore I decided that now my kids are actually going to go in school like in person um virtual was really hard for z um but it was really easy for kaden kaden is a very fast learner um but i want her to experience school and actually be hands-on with the teacher and everything so i want her to experience a very fun and very good school year and yeah so i've been getting a lot of questions and stuff about their lunches so i decided to make a video that way i could just explain everything and show what i got because i am super prepared and i'm ready to take on the, the school lunch year and everything so let me show you guys what i got where i got it from and all that jazz let's start off with some of the boxes of course we have the bento go boxes i have one in green and blue and the other in purple and pink and it's like this perfect sizing you know our main meal and everything is the same for this one and then this one's for my youngest because he's into dinosaurs it's uh sm or i don't know if this counts as a letter or not maybe sim i don't know but i got this from amazon just like i got the other two from amazon and slightly bigger actually a lot bigger also the tray can come out just like the benko i cannot do it with one hand i think okay there we go yeah and it is dish dishwasher safe and then this was one of the ones that she first got um you know for last year even though we did virtual um it's just a regular lunch box we could still do really fun things with it i don't know if it's leak proof or not though so this one we got from Target. Okay, it's Cat and Jack. And then these, um, they have not used it yet. This will be their first year using it. Um, this came separate. Um, you get these on Amazon. They're their own lunchbox, so you don't need to put it in anything. Um, you just get it on Amazon. I think they're $40. It comes with a separator. And then this is so you can put like soups or like hot meals in them. I think I'm tightening it. Somebody. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the food goes in here. And if, let's say, you don't want to use this, you just close that back up. And then just take the whole thing out. And then you could just make that for another section for meals and stuff like that. And then this just goes around here what this is for and and then the cute spoons so when they're done eating they just stick them back in there and it's always reusable and attached doesn't come out like that easily and that is the omi omi box get it from amazon now some things that are going to be inspiring my kids meals this year are these three books um so these two are more of like with the nori the rolls and like everything like that with the really cute designs to make them happy and this one is as well but with more recipes and it teaches you how to do it all the cutouts and everything and then this one's more like you know like that's um sloppy joes and stuff like that salads chicken tenders chicken nuggets soup like mac and cheese like all this different kind of recipes and stuff like that okay so these are just um things that i decided would be fun to make some stuff from here so this is the rice ball shaker and you just put your rice in it you shake it and it turns into little balls just like the picture then this shapes the rice into these little cute characters so we got the hello kitty one 
These are some cute sauce containers. I got all of this from Amazon, by the way. And I got these. That way we can add like cute little faces onto their foods. Um, it came in a pack of four. So I got four more of these exact ones in case they throw them away. And these are nori cutters. That way we can do those faces and put them on the rice and everything. Oh, and I forgot since, you know, just so they could practice. I thought these were so cute. Um, it's a little extra of me, but I thought it was adorable. So I got it for them. So I got this from Amazon. This was um, something I got last year. Um, believe it or not, everything that's in here did come in the box. It's just that I suck at, you know, putting everything back. So this is like to make... A peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then you just you know cut it. and then it comes with these so you can like just stick it in your in your bento boxes and that way the food doesn't touch so it'd be like that so we got a bunch of those in here these are your sandwich cutters if you plan on making sandwiches cute shapes this cuts in them in half and the shape is really big sandwich and then more of these and we got even more of those see i didn't even get to use all of them we got make the mouse shape a star shape and these are your fruit and veggie cutters they're really cute i love using these Let's see star flower bunny another flower and a heart and then we got more of those little pigs these are so cute the little animals and then these lunchbox notes i always always write them cute little notes i actually got this one from the dollar tree this i got from target from the dollar section and this one is also from target now something that i didn't do last year was actually plan out my meals for these kids so what i did was downloaded um this app called meal board open it and it's a month so i went through all the books and i put down the pages that i'm gonna do the meal for and what it was that way i can you know so the 10th and the 11th there's no school so i didn't have to put anything there and then i just meal prepped for the whole month of August for them. That way I'm ahead and know what to what to shop for. And then I also have this tiny um, planner. And with this tiny planner, I'm going to be adding all the recipes and I'm going to write down like what I need so I can go grocery shopping and of course i have to be extra and get stickers so that way it could be fun for me oh and before i put everything away i wanted to show what kind of lunch boxes it'll fit in i know that was one of the things that i was very curious about before buying them so um this is just a regular jojo siwa um lunch box and this is your regular puma lunchbox and my daughter is really into jojo so um this one's slightly large well yes slightly larger than the other one so that fits pretty good it just there probably wouldn't be really enough space for like a snack or whatever um that's just my only thing okay there is space for a snack okay so that's fine sorry it's just really hard to do this with one hand okay eh. there we go There's a lot of space and enough space for a snack or like a little juice if you're going to put juice in here. But at the same time, there's a little thing here. But there's a lot of space here, um, space here and at the top as well. And now we're doing it with this one. This one is kind of hard to, 
to deal with um he has a dinosaur lunchbox but this does not fit in it it fits in like these types of lunch boxes so it'll fit really good in the jojo sorry for the screaming and the jojo siwa one see but again no snacks it fits really good here enough space for snacks and it fits really good here mm, not enough space for like a juice box maybe on its side but definitely enough space too so these lunch boxes are great for it this one not so much sorry it's messy i'm sorry um this one not so much it doesn't you know it's not that great for them um maybe for the unicorn kind that goes in here that would be pretty good for it because then you have enough space for whatever you want to put in there